Hey guys, it's so good to see you. You look great, I love seeing your smile. I'm smiling under this mask too, okay? Y'all have fun. Hi, and welcome to Giddens Elementary. Hello, welcome to Giddens Elementary. Thanks guys, let's go see some classrooms. Absolutely, thank you Sophia and William. We're excited to have you lead us through our school. Where are we going? We are going to Miss Miller's fourth grade classroom. All right, Miss Miller's fourth grade classroom. What do you think we might see in Miss Miller's fourth grade classroom? Obviously, is some kids being taught stuff. Well, that's good. I'm <laughs> glad that we teach stuff here at Giddens yes. Elementary. Yes, we do. Our family can and will keep a positive attitude and be the best versions of ourselves every day. They were working on this Jamboard thing. They're focusing things of how to take care of themselves by taking care of their heart, body, mind, and soul. In your group, what were you guys talking about? Which one were you trying to sharpen? We were trying to sharpen in the body, and I came up with take your dog for a walk if you have one. Sometimes I skateboard on that walk. Very cool. That is good for your body. And it's also oh, good for my dog. Yeah. Do you skateboard with your dog? Well, uh, no, I walk with my dog. Oh, okay. It's not like a dog can use skateboard, you know. That's unfortunate because a dog who can skateboard would be pretty cool. Be I know, I think that we have something to learn from the birds. Pencils on the ground here. It looks really good to me. What do you think? I think it's cute. I, I think, think it's good. I think it's great. They Definitely. read a book about cushion. using nature, and um, they were trying to just kind of recreate what um, birds do, seeing like what they do to build their nest. But I think we realized it's a lot harder to build a bird nest than we thought it was, right? Definitely. And we might need to leave that up to the birds. <laughs> Hi, Miss Archer. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Thanks for letting us come join you. Yeah, of course. Hi, Miss Krista. Hi. Hi, girls. Uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, did like they come up with those? Yeah, they did. We oh, nice. uh, researched some things about grasslands, and they found it out. Okay, that, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Isn't that odd? Aren't they doing a great job in third grade? Yeah. And Miss Archer, can you tell us a little bit about your keg instructor, the rally coach that you have the kids doing? Yeah, so I love uh, the rally coach for student discourse. The students are looking at an article and helping each other solve a uh, main idea and supporting details questions. So one partner will be uh, the person solving, they're reading, and they're finding the supporting details. And their other partner is their coach. So they get to act as a teacher and help coach them to the right answers. And then they switch and they each get a chance to solve and coach each other. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. And I can see uh, this couple here is actually highlighting within the story. So I love mm -hmm. how they're using technology to do that as well. Yep. I just want to say this is a great class. Thank um, you so much. Thanks. That's so it sweet. It can add that as a compliment. I appreciate that. Mason, that is so sweet. Thank you for adding <laughs> that. You. I know that makes Miss Archer feel awesome. Thank Absolutely. you, Miss Archer. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. We're here. What are you guys working on? We are working on main idea and supporting details. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Well, Alcatraz is a cool place. All right, so we're talking about a man and his tough escape from Alcatraz. So as I read, I would be looking for information about that. They were doing boxes and bullets, main ideas, and supporting evidence. One of the sentences you can write is that he used a fake face, right? Right here? Yeah, that's where your first sentence goes. I was helping kids get their first sentence because they need three sentences to support the main idea of what they wrote down. And this class, I told them, one of them made a fake face to escape and told them to write that down. Well, I think that's awesome. Thank you guys for helping because they look up to you guys as fifth graders. And so that was super fun. We need to do more of that where you guys are in the classrooms helping out the younger kids. So thank you. I love it. All right, Miss Hill, when um, visitors come to Giddens Elementary, what do you want them to see um, in your school? Um, I want them to see the passion of our teachers to make sure that every student is having a great time learning, that they enjoy being there, they're engaged and just active in their own learning. <laughs>